no students in our previous video we learned the resistance and the factor affecting the resistance in this video we will learn about resistivity in detail students resistivity is nothing but measure of resistance so let's start today's video with an activity for this activity let's take a nichrome wire a 10 watt bulb and a meter a plug key and some conducting wire now we set up the circuit by connecting four dry cells of 1.5 volt each in series with the ammeter leaving a gap xy in the circuit then we complete the circuit by connecting the nichrome wire in the gap xy and plug the key then we note down the ammeter reading we repeat the same process for the 10 watt bulb and note down the ammeter reading are the ammeter readings different for different components connected in the gap xy what do the above observation indicate let us analyze the observations in this activity we observe that the current is different for different components but why do they differ this is because certain components offer an easy path for the flow of electric current while the others resist the flow in simple words we can say that the resistance of different materials is different thus we can define the resistance as the property of the conductor which opposes the flow of electric current we have studied this in our previous video but now what is the measure of this resistance ability here the measure of the ability of a material to oppose the flow of current is called as its electrical resistivity or resistivity so we can say that it is a property of material itself not the size or shape of the sample resistivity usually depends on temperature and may depend on other quantities such as pressure we symbolize it by the greek letter rho in our last video we studied that the resistivity is proportionality constant or we can say that it is the resistance of a wire of unit length and unit cross sectional area of given material mathematically we can write it as rho is equal to r into a upon l the si unit of resistivity is the ohm meter as we know that the resistivity of a material depends on the temperature of the conductor let's see the effect of temperature on the resistivity of conductor and semiconductor the resistivity of metallic conductor increases with an increase in its temperature whereas the resistivity of a semiconductor decreases with an increase in its temperature also there are some other materials whose resistance decreases tremendously with a decrease in temperature in the very low temperature range of the order of absolute zero such substances are called superconductors some superconductors are lead tin etc the given table shows the resistivity of different materials from the table we can conclude that a good conductor has less resistivity in the range of 10 to minus 8 ohm meter to 10 to minus 6 ohm meter whereas a bad conductor or insulator has high resistivity of the order 10 to 12 to 10 to 17 ohm meter the resistivity of semiconductors lies between that of conductors and insulators it is also clear from the table that the resistivity of an alloy is generally higher than that of its constituent metals we use tungsten exclusively for filaments of electric bulbs whereas copper and aluminum are generally used for electrical transmission lines do you know students material having considerable resistivity are used to make resistors which in turn are used to produce resistance in the circuit now you must be wondering what are resistors let us know more about them a wire having a desired resistance for use in an electric circuit is called as resistor we represent it by the symbol zigzag line 
the registers which obey Ohm's law are called ohmic registers, while the registers which do not obey Ohm's law are called non-ohmic registers. Students note that the resistance produced by resistors can be both, either desirable or undesirable. If you want to transmit electricity from one place to another place, then the resistance is undesirable. Because resistance in a conductor causes a part of electricity to turn into heat. So some electrical energy is lost along the path. But on the other hand, special resistors with high resistance allow us to use electricity for generating light and heat. For example, light that we receive from electric bulb and heat generated through electric heaters. So in these cases, the resistance is desirable. So students, in this video, we learnt about the property of material called the resistivity. Resistivity is the measure of the ability of material to oppose the flow of current. We also studied the resistivity of various conductors, alloys and insulators. Apart from these, we also learned about the effect of temperature on the resistivity of conductor and semiconductor. The resistors which obey Ohm's law are called ohmic resistors, while the resistors which do not obey Ohm's law are called non-ohmic resistors. In our next video, we will discuss about the connection of resistors.